What's going on, tech fans? Elric here on Tech of Tomorrow. Now, you guys all know that AMD has launched all their new CPUs, their A8, their A10, all that, which is a complete all-in-one APU. We've talked about this before, accelerated graphics, you know, everything all built in one. Well, that's what this whole entire new series of motherboards from AMD is about. Now, today we're going to do the unboxing and overview of the new Biostar Hi-Fi a85w now the big thing about this motherboard is obviously their hi-fi sound so we talked about this before in other reviews if not make sure you look in the link in the description below we can take you back to that where we talk about that but basically the hi-fi sound this motherboard it's not quite at the same level as the extreme stuff that you see on asus motherboards but it is better than any of the other joe average sound that's out there and that's really one of the biggest features about this board so with that said let's just take a look at the box i'll bring it up here to the camera so you guys can see that on the back of the box they have a lot of their own stuff their smart ear hi-fi ground hi-fi power hi-fi amp dual link dvi windows 8 compatible all right folks so we won't waste any more time on the box we'll just go ahead and we'll open it up right off the bat we have the manual for the Hi-Fi A75 and the Hi-Fi A85W, all contained in here. Driver's CD. We'll go ahead and set that off to the side. Take a quick flip just through their manual. Not too much there. Just talks about all the different stuff. Socket FM2 for AMD A-Series, EZ Series processor. AMD A85 is the chipset. So, go ahead and close it up. Here's the rear I.O. Here are the SATA cables. Go ahead and unbundle those for you. Store those bad boys there, get that out of the way. Remove this, and then we'll take out the packaging. You guys can see it's all in a completely sealed package. I'm going to go ahead and break the seal and de-virginize it. That's right, I was the first one to have my hands on it. Ooh, and even as I'm starting to pull the tape off, I can smell that fresh motherboard smell. Oh, I love fresh electronics. They smell clean. All right, so let's bop this thing out. Get the box out of the way. Hopefully not knock anything over. And then we'll go ahead and set this board down so that way we can start taking a look at it so we'll start off over here you can see here's the first four pin power connector located right there here you can see all the components the choke and everything with their puro hi-fi they actually leave these pretty well and open so hopefully they don't get very hot Here's the socket. Plenty of room around here for using any of the aftermarket water cooling or other stuff. The CPU fan header is right here located above it, which is very good. Fan header one should be as close to there as possible, and that's actually a very good location. Four channels, dual channel DDR3 memory. Works up to 2400 plus, depending on what memory you get and what it has for its XMP profiles. So down here we have the 24 pin power. Can go back over here we see system fan 2 so the first fan was up here second fan is located there go ahead and move down we'll take a look at what's going on here now this board will support just standard stuff it is pci express 2.0 not pci express 3.0 not going to get that here but you do have one two of the pci 1x slots and then we have one, two of the other PCIe slots, two standard PCI slots. Over here, we have the little Biostar logo and their cooler. Now, I'm going to flip it around the side real quick here. You guys can see SATA, six gigabits a second, all the way across. So there's two, four, six, eight eight altogether SATA ports so that's a lot of support there we have their panel light right here 
This displays different lights and lets you know what's going on with the motherboard. Now it's going to be very hard to see down here, but they do have their reset switch and their power switch located right down here on the bottom. Everything's color coded completely across right here so that when you're plugging your cables from your case, it's easy to read and plug in. You have USB, floppy, another system fan located here. You have a chassis intrusion, audio. And then let's move around here and let's take a look at the Puro Hi-Fi. So we'll start off right here, the little Puro Hi-Fi, the little amp. Here you can see all of their Hi-Fi caps and their resistors. You can see all that very closely right here on the board. You can also see that it's segregated quite a bit away from the other electronics. So that should help quite a bit with noise interference. So you should get pretty clear sound off of that. Let me just real quick flip it around, show you guys the back of the motherboard. A lot of people don't ever do that, but here's the back of the motherboard. You see it does have a back plate. For some cooling kits, you're gonna have to remove this and change that out. And then last but not least, let's take a look at the rear IO. So we'll start off over here. First off, we have the standard PS2 keyboard port two standard USB 2.0 ports, HDMI port, VGA port, DVI port. Here is your LAN, two more USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports, and then finally our 7.1 audio, but it's strictly through this, strictly analog. If you wanna get any type of digital audio at all, you're gonna to have to go through the HDMI connection which also limits your graphics to 1920 by 1080. All right, folks, so that pretty much just wraps it up. Now I'm gonna be throwing this board in the test station along with a few of the other ones that I got in here and doing the testing with that A10 processor I got in. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you seem a little jumpy today, I am. I didn't get actually any sleep last night. I don't know why, so today I'm just like, oh, I wanna fall asleep. I feel nervous and jittery the whole entire day, so forgive me. But anyways, I hope you guys liked the video still. This motherboard is very, very well priced. For you guys looking for an entry-level motherboard that actually has above average sound, this is good. And it also fares well in the overclocking arena. A lot of people don't know this because Biostar in the past had some, we'll just say rather unsavory entry-level motherboards, which kind of killed them. But they've changed a lot in the past few years. And they have lots of motherboards that are actually very well made, that do well in overclocking, well in sound, and have very, very fair price points. Don't be discouraged. These guys are a good company and these series of boards are solid. Check it out in the link below. If you want to buy one of these for yourself, you can check that out over on Amazon. Make sure you hit that like button. If you're not sub, make sure you do so because we always have crazy shit going on here on the channel and I'll see you guys later on Tech of Tomorrow.